Hi everybody, Dr. Santander here. Um, thank you for listening. I wanted to give you guys a few updates on what's been happening. There's been a bunch of changes recently and I wanna make sure that everybody's cool with the new changes and that they're, they're in place for the right reasons. And that if there's any issues with them, we, we clear them up um, to obviously just make this thing that we're going, uh, that we're working towards more efficient and the thought that I just had was that this in my heart has always been a project that is not just what I want. It's, it's what needs to be in place for medicine to work better for quote unquote, uh, alternative medicines or for traditional East Asian medicine for these kinds of modalities, what is going to make them work better in the world in which we live today. So I've been very fortunate to have a lot of training with my teacher, Dr. Jackowitz, and many uh, uh, of the other training opportunities that I've had. And <clears throat> in regards to bringing the classical medicine and the, the natural medicine, the, the old stuff to the world, um, that is just always a lot, in my opinion, is a lot of call and response in terms of, you know, I, I bring in we bring in something, we bring in a classical idea, we bring in an acupuncture idea or a medical idea, and then we have to figure out how to make it relevant today and relevant to our, our patient community. And you guys who are listening, either current patients or future patients or past patients, what we wanna try and do is make these things more accessible, relevant, uh, get, basically get rid of what is not working, keep what works and then add what's uniquely our own our own signature and it's always been a co-creation event with ourselves and our patients we don't want to spend our time doing anything that's not increasing the quality of care here so in regards to that i wanted to to clear up uh, a few um i don't want to say issues but uh what we've done is we've 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 gotten an assistant for one uh to help us um, take a lot of the repetitive tasks off of our plate so that we can work on increasing the quality of patient care. So those quality of tasks or the, those tasks that don't necessarily need to be done by a physician, like reordering supplements, um, dealing with schedule conflict, talking about billing and pricing and things like that. We have hired somebody named AJ to help us do those things, a uh, virtual assistant. Uh, they're very wonderful and very, very helpful, very kind. And to that end, we are very grateful. And it's freed up a lot of time for us to do more patient care related things or more things related to, at, you know, trying not to sound too, too corny here, but innovating and, and trying to take our idea and push it further and trying to take our idea and make it better, basically. So also in those regards, we, we have a scheduling, I put a scheduling link on the website. I actually just sent out an email today about that scheduling link. And I know this is super fascinating for anybody who's listening. Oh, yes, let's let's hear more about the, the scheduling link. Oh, I've been dying to know about how you guys do your scheduling. But um, uh, what's the name of the website? So Oahu, oahuholisticmedicine.com. I'm going to let me share the screen. I'll just show you. If you're just listening, that's fine. You can just listen. If you are watching, then that's great to watch. Um, but Oahu Holistic Medicine, we've just added some of our um, recordings in a podcast format so that you can listen to things that maybe are useful to you or help you break up, you know, break up some some good ideas in your mind. But if you'll notice on the top of the website, it, um, if you're looking, that's great. If you're not, that's fine too. I've put an, uh, an icon there that says Patient Portal, big blue button. You click on that button, it takes you to the uh, patient. It says here, uh, domain restricted access denied, just because the the, uh, the link works. I promise the link works. It's just not working because I'm logged in on a different account and it's not recognizing that. But you click on that, it takes you to a login page. You log in and then it will take you to a dashboard page where it, share, uh, where it shows you information about you and what practice you, you select, what practice you're involved in, and then it'll help you schedule in there. And you can keep track of your scheduling and you can keep track of your um, documents and, and your uh, questionnaires that you filled out and test results are all in there. And that's kind of our internal uh, patient 
health record software and our electronic health record software in the office. We don't we don't keep paper notes because it's it's the space age, so we're we're not going to. Um, although there's an argument for doing so, and there's an argument for not doing so. That's not necessarily the point of this conversation, but. What that's going to allow us to do is keep everything in one place. So if you need to cancel an appointment, you can do so in there and you just put in a reason for your cancellation and then that message will send to us. If you want to reschedule, you can go in there and do that. And if you want to book an appointment, you can go in there and do that as well. If you're a new patient, it'll prompt you to sign in um, and create a new account if you, you've never been a part of our practice. If you're just listening to this and you've never been a part of the practice and you want to come in, go to the scheduling website, uh, skip the patient portal bit, and go down to choose your provider. Right? There's this booking widget in here. It's a funny word, widget. And you click on a practitioner, either myself or Dr. Goto, doesn't matter which one. And you click schedule to call to book your first appointment. It's put in here as 30 minutes. It's not going to take 30 minutes. Basically, what we want to do is we want to take your information. We want to um, advise you as to whether or not we're a good fit for each other off the bat. Just if you're looking for something that we don't offer, we're not going to waste time, uh, your time or our time. We'll direct you to somebody that we think can help you better, send you a referral uh, to somebody else or, or, or recommend somebody that maybe you're looking for who could suit your needs a bit better. Um, if we decide that, that we're actually, we actually might be what you're looking for, but you want to talk further and we want to get to know each other a bit, then you book a call. Uh, or you, sch you schedule the call, this is what we're going to talk on the first call. And then we'll book an appointment. We'll, we'll, um, we'll help you uh, submit information. We'll tell you what information we need. We'll get you put in the system and all of that. So that's kind of the way things stand now. And some of this will be subject to change as we go forward. But there's a scheduling link. If you're an existing patient, you can use the scheduling link. You, you, you pick a day. You find the appointment slots that are available. You see Friday, Thursday, we have 11, a 2, 1.30, 2.30, on and on, right? That's what's available for a 30-minute slot. So if you are looking for a 60-minute slot, then there's, it's going to show you what's available for those. So that's how we, uh, that's how the scheduling is set up right now. I'm going to do some more uh, work on this page to make it a little read a little bit better and make it make a bit more sense and be more be clearer and simpler to use and more straightforward because I realize that I'm a better acupuncturist than I am with web developer so um, this website has been okay for a while but um, it has its limitations like anything else what else so we have um, a qigong program coming up um, I'm, I've always been considering doing in-person stuff and bringing back our online co uh, class. We, we met for about a year, year and a half uh, from 2022 to 2023. Yeah, 2022 and 2023. We were meeting online once a week and doing some Qigong. So if there's interest for that, if you're interested in, in a, a, a class coming up where we meet online once a week or twice a month or once a month even, and do some Qigong together, then that'd be cool. What I want to um, let me know if you're into that. Another thing I want to let me know if you're interested in is I'm going to take those recordings from that previous Qigong course that we had, and I'm going to publish them onto the internet and going to put them in sort of an online course format. Now I know that leads a lot to be desired. Some people want to practice this stuff in person. Some people want to practice in a group together. Some people want to practice on their own, and that's great. Personally, in my Qigong and meditation journey. I got a lot, I got so much out of listening to recordings of people like Ram Das and David Nickturn and any of you, uh, oh, Jerry Allen Johnson, I think. There's lots of personalities online and, and lectures and, and meditations and, and insight and, and things that have been online that I followed asynchronously. Dr. Glenn Morris, I, I downloaded some of his stuff, uh, which hopefully we'll go through and we'll post and we'll talk about at some point. But basically, I wanted to share this kind of go at your own speed, go, go at your own pace style, because we, can't, we don't always, as we have this, the scheduling software and the scheduling conversation, we can't always meet with each other in a way that's convenient. And there's only so many hours in the day, and the clock seems to always be working against us. So having an asynchronous option, I think, is a great opportunity for people to leverage their health, leverage their mind, and the way that they spend their time, and the, the thoughts that we put into our head for better because uh, I think we're realizing now with social media and 
constantly being bombarded with social media and advertising and other people's thoughts and opinions and ideals that our mind is sacred space and our thoughts are, are constantly somebody's constantly vying to change your mind to get you to do something believe something or buy something and it's so exhausting this is part of why we're trying to narrow the amount of places and input that we're, we're interfacing with patients just so that as practitioners, we can be more present, we can be there with you and not be torn in 15 different directions. And so that you as a patient will see that, yes, we all are at the same time in this world where everybody's vying for our attention and we need to take that back. Is We gotta take the power back a little bit. We gotta be a little bit um, rebellious in a way that uh, we're, what we're trying to do is t take back our consciousness and take back our, our mental space. And we're trying to think of the things that we wanna think about that we want to spend time thinking about, not stuff that people put there. We want to feel how we really feel about things, not feel the feelings that have been told to us that we're supposed to feel. So um, part of part of the these changes that we're making with scheduling and narrowing all of our uh, conversations just to one or two channels, like the uh, scheduling software to schedule and then the uh, info at to do all the things that aren't related to patient care. Like we're trying to funnel everybody through email. We could do everybody through phone calls. We could do everybody through instant messaging. We could do everybody through video calls only, but we're trying to just narrow things down so that it's tidy, it's neat, it's efficient, and that we're not all being torn in a million different directions. Okay, so that's a little bit of the behind the scenes. We, it's of the absolute paramount, most important to me that we maintain personal touch. And I think it's important to y'all too. And that's why uh, not not to be so ranty here, but um, that's why I wanted to make sure that we're not being distracted and torn in all these other directions um, with all the software and stuff like that. I want us to be when we're with each other, when we're working together, that we're focused with each other and we're getting to the essence of your problem and we're, we're helping you find answers to all of your questions. Not that we're the only people who can answer these questions, but we can help you find the answers to your questions. Uh, and we can give you the information that's been given to us. And I, I, I want to disseminate that information freely. And I'm always interested in, in new ideas and new ways to reach new people with, uh, with medicine and help people find the medicine that they need. That's, that's I've, I've, I have passion towards that right now. And what I want to make sure is that uh, everybody's getting their question answered and that we maintain a personal touch on this thing. So just because we have an assistant, just because we're using a scheduling software, it doesn't mean we're not here. It doesn't mean just because I'm talking to you on this thing, just because I'm talking to you through the computer in a recording format, it doesn't mean I'm not here. It doesn't mean you can't get a hold of me. It doesn't mean we're, that I don't want to work with you to achieve the goals that we've set out to do together. So um, I just always want to keep a personal touch with this because I think that's what's so lacking right now. And it's it's tragic and it is costing a lot of people their lives. Anyway, without going too deep into that rabbit hole inside of things, um, we're so appreciative. We are so appreciative that anybody wants to come in this door and talk to us. And uh, each and every one of you has helped us learn how to make this practice better. You've all brought your hard work and your effort and yourselves, and it's it's been so inspiring to work with you all for the the past few years of getting. A little emotional about it because it's been a super emotional journey to me and i know it has been for a lot of you all as well so thank you for that um on a uh less emotional note maybe or maybe not a less emotional note facial acupuncture we're talking about maybe doing facial acupuncture so if you're interested in learning qigong let us know if you're interested in learning facial or getting a, a facial acupuncture let us know um, if you're interested in learning in an online format or in an in-person format, let us know both of those things as well. Um, that's it. That's all I have for updates. And I just wanted to let you know a few things that are going on. Um, if you listen to this, if you've made it this far, it's pretty amazing. This is some boring stuff, but I appreciate your time. I appreciate you being here. We appreciate every one of you who has come and tried to work with us and maybe it didn't work. We appreciate everybody who shows up week over week and is putting in their hard work and is doing what they need to do. And we appreciate when you don't maybe necessarily do as well as you thought you would, 
because that's great too. That's great effort. And everybody who's come in here is, is working so hard. And I'm so proud of you all. And I'm so proud of Dr. Goda for all of her hard work. I'm proud of every single patient who's come in. I'm proud of myself for doing something different um, and for, for trying hard. I'm just really humbled by this whole experience and I appreciate every everything about it. Um, that being said, we're trying to have more of the stuff that's working, less of the stuff that's not working, and put a little bit of a, a unique touch on, on this whole project. So thank you, everybody, for your time. Thank you for listening. Wishing you the best, as always. And if you need anything, reach out. And I'll see you in Qigong, or I'll see you at our meetings, or I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.